Okay, so here I am. I'm in like a, I'm about, I don't know, 20 kilometers or so from uh, Capizzi del Monte. And um, my bike, flat tire, came here last night. Um, I left at about 4.30 from town. Was hoping to make it here in about two hours, two and a half, three hours max. And uh, it was nine kilometers and then another, what do you call, 22 kilometers like this. Well, everything was going fine. Very beautiful plant life, you know, things that you see here and, oh, and the cow. Hello, cow. Hello. Anyway, this is a um, very magical place. I was going to a place where I saw these lights in the distance that they said was Erx. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe Erx is inside your own mind. And if you uh, can't find it, you never will. Well, after I'd gone about 16 of the 22 kilometers, one of these kinds of guys, a big old rock, treated my bicycle very poorly. And uh, so I continued in the direction of my quest. And a little while later came a uh, car that I knew was gonna come. Some people I met on the uh, way climbing up, climbing up Oritorco a couple of days ago on the 23rd. Today is the 26th. And um, anyway, so when they saw me with the flat tire, they came up with an, with an idea that I can't believe it was theirs. Uh, it came so fast. Uh, basically, I held, I held this, out, this bike outside the window with my right arm, the same one I'm using to film myself, and uh, carried it, um, dragged it. I didn't carry it on the way there. It was about six kilometers uh, with the front wheel uh, not touching much, the back wheel touching a little bit more. And then we got to the place and it was light still. And uh, we couldn't see anything there, so it's kind of good because I was hoping that there was nothing there um, where the city was to materialize after dark with the lights. So anyway, we left to see if we could find a place to patch the bike. We left the bike hidden up at the top. And then after going down this road very far, we came to a uh, place where the nicest people in the world, like most people are, they uh, said, yeah, they got something to help us with. So the, the family, there's a, a woman and her three kids. They are like in the uh, late teens to 25 max, maybe. Well, we, um, they were there with me for about, uh, I don't know, maybe um, about half an hour, maybe. And then they finally left at about 10, 1030 to go home. So I waited and I waited and I waited. And uh, after not being able to repair my tire, my tube, because it already had a number of a number of patches on it, they had another tube, two other two other tubes, and it wasn't until about 12:30 at night, which would be the morning of the 26th, that um, I heard a boom, and it wasn't a bomb, it wasn't a gun, it was the uh, second of two inner tubes that that said no, I, I won't go there. So at about uh, almost one o'clock, I was offered a uh, a little, uh, what do you call it, mattress thing and a cover thing and they said here, um, why don't you sleep out here uh, next to the toilets in the shower area? And I go, well, okay. So I'm like the best offer I had all Christmas. So I took it. What the hell? Who wouldn't? Oh wait, here we are. We're, we're on, a, on a road where there's hardly any cars. Here's one of them right here. We'll see how it goes. They're going to pass us. I'll, I'll have to wave. So bear with me, please. Dun, 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 dun. Hola. So anyway, um, so I spent the night in the, um, I spent the night at, the, the, at this uh, place. Really cool. I could not imagine anyone being nicer. And um, we uh, chatted uh, a little bit in the night time. And then the morning I woke up around 8.30. And in the morning I put all my stuff, uh, folded up the stuff that they gave me and was getting ready to leave. And um, of course they offered me mates. Oh, here's a truck. Too bad it's going in the wrong direction. Hola. Anyway, so so I woke up around 8.30, had some mate, they offered me some bread and uh, jam, very nice country folk. And uh, so now um, I get 15 kilometers of this stuff. And then after 15 kilometers, I've got uh, a nine kilometer uh, walk on um, asphalt. 
and then I'll be at the city limits, and then there's probably not much more than a kilometer or so to get to my uh, the hostel where I'm staying. So, what can I say? It was a it was a Christmas to remember, one I will never forget, and uh, I couldn't be happier. Um, my legs wish that I wouldn't have so much adventure all the time. Although I have to say, my legs. What's going on now? It's it's a song. It's very loud. I recognize it. It sounds like Green Day, but I didn't know I had any Green Day. Anyway, so um, anyway, so the end of the story is that the Christmas was fantastic, fan effing tastic. I couldn't ask for more in life than I have. I've got my health, obviously, because this is only two days after I climbed Oritorco uh, with a very good time going up and going down. And I uh, three times have been to um, the place where they say you can see Eric's. And I saw something definitely. I don't know what I saw. I don't know, I don't know what I saw, but I know that this has triggered uh, curiosity in me to find out a lot more about things that I don't know. And I'm loving life. I'm loving me. I'm loving you, whoever you are. If you're my family, if you're my friends, if you're a past, present, or future lover, or even if you're just another person on the earth sharing it with me, dead or alive. Love from Argentina, from Capiche del Monte, from a road, from the road to the to Heaven's Gate, Puerto del Cielo. This is Kevin saying, "Whoa, <laughs> oh, shit, ciao."